you have a really pretty set of uh, topiary trees. As I promised, I have the haul that I picked up for myself last week when I was thrifting with my friends. And I got a lot of really, really nice finds. And I believe I spent around, let me add it up really quick, seven, like $16, $15 thrifting on that day. So let's go ahead and get started. As promised, this is the second part to the thrifting vlog from last week. My two sisters and my two friends, Sarah and Marianne, we are all thrifting in Sonora and we happened to look up and find this yard sale slash estate sale. And you guys, it had such wonderful finds and the great prices too to go along with it. The lady who was in charge was super sweet and the house was so cute and cottagey and the yards and the atmosphere was just very relaxing and calming as well, which made the thrifting experience even more enjoyable. So let's go ahead, thrift. We're going to be hitting some thrift stores and another yard sale and just having a really fun day going out to eat and then I will go home and I will show you all my beautiful treasures that I found today. And hold on. <coughs> yeah. I thought it was electric. No. <coughs> I thought that was an electric candle. Carrie, heavy milk glass cream and sugar. Know. Cute. Look! I like the little wicker basket, sir. Yeah, I saw that, but I thought it was electric. This is super cute, Tara. So cute. I don't want it. I bet she's going to give you those wooden spools for nothing, Sarah. Do you guys like deer? Marianne might like it. We all go thrifting with a list in mind and Sarah usually asks all of us what our thrifting list is and we all come away with such different thrifting items, items I may not see or they may not see, but we all came away today with beautiful thrifting treasures and that always amazes me because there's four of us, we're all in the same place and yet we all find different items. So it's really enjoyable it's really fun to see what everybody finds. And Tara, I walked right past that little statue bust and of course Tara found it. So <laughs> she's smiling because she knew she found a wonderful treasure.
we usually hit the same route every trip and today was a little bit different because we did find some yard cells and that was super enjoyable. We are at another thrift store that we visit very often and this has a lot of clothes and a lot of big furniture. In fact, there was a family in there that had just bought a home and they were furnishing their new home with thrifted finds from this thrift store and it's very, very clean and very organized in there. We did stop off for coffee and we just have a couple more hours ahead of us of thrifting and really it was such an enjoyable day and I am so thankful for friends and thrifting, coffee, good food and thrifting treasures. That one. That's a big one. That, these are all Farberware water. That these aren't even loose. Not even Yeah, loose. those right there. Sturdy? Yeah. I wonder how much they are. I just need two. Yeah. There's two without the leaf. Huh. <sighs> We are at the second thrift store for the day and in the back of my mind I have tucked away that I am looking for end tables or side tables for my living room makeover and my whole mindset has changed while thrifting and incorporating thrifted or DIY items in my makeovers because you get things at a fraction of the price that you would pay in a store or a full price. And I love the story and the character behind thrifted items. And they just bring, I guess, like a settled old feeling to your home that new items do not bring. And I just, if I think if I can find thrifted items for my home that really just pull everything together, that is the route I'm going to go. And so far, I really feel like the Lord has helped me find thrifted treasures to add to my makeovers and really make the rooms or the space just pop and pull together nicely. She set this oh, on top blanket. of this. Look, see that blanket? Here. Set it on top of that chair. Okay, but you see there's like a... We are headed to the downtown part of Sonora into the actual antique stores and this is a really big antique store with some really pretty finds and some of the prices are expensive and then some of them are really inexpensive so it's just a matter of what catches your eyes and then what the price tag says and we are finishing out the day with our favorite mexican food and this restaurant is so good 
And today has just been, honestly, such a relaxing day. And I am so thankful I have good friends and we have such a good time together. Let's get on with the thrift haul. I, I'll start off with the boring stuff first. I'm not going to show you the cream slip because it's just a cream slip, but I thrifted this black one for the girls. And it's really nice to put underneath their little uh, church dresses. So, you know, nothing see-through. And I paid a um, dollar for this slip and $2 for my cream slip. They're made so much nicer than the ones I have to buy from Target. Okay, I will be giving this to my sister-in-law before um, the video comes out, so it doesn't matter. I thrifted these for my sister-in-law, Darian, and they're in really, there you go, her face had a glare. Now this was at the yard sale that we found in, or that I found in Sonora. And I paid a dollar each for these, which is like an unbelievable price. The funny thing is, um, I found this yard sale the day before and it looked like it was loaded and we didn't want to drive up twice, like Friday and then go back up Saturday with our friends. So the lady, when we got to the yard sale, she was, she said they basically sold out the day before. And if I would have known how good her prices were. I would have went up the day before. She was so sweet and her prices were like nothing. So these are for my sister-in-law and I got, I paid $1 each. So $2 for the pair. They're cute. And I don't want those to get broken. Also at that yard sale, I thrifted. This nail was already in there. So I'll get it out. But this is a super heavy brass like applique. And she had another one, but um, it almost looks Christmassy to me, huh? Like you could hang like a pretty wreath underneath. I don't know. I wasn't going to buy it just because I wasn't in the mood to buy. And then my sister was like, it's a dollar. So I got that. Or even hanging over a picture would be super cute, huh? I think I'm missing something from this haul. I think I put them somewhere and... Oh, no. I got these at that yard sale and I paid one dollar for them now they're fake but I really like how they they almost have a dead look to them which gives them more of a realistic look and I don't have something with me on hand but basically if you stick these in a topiary little extra jar or like a vase you have a really pretty set of uh, topiary trees, which they're really beautiful. And I'm just going to stick them in something, like I said, that is going to give them more of a layered look. And I love the dead looking, almost looks like they are on the verge of not dying, but like they need water. And so I really, really like that a lot. One dollar each. Okay. I got these next items at the thrift store that's kind of like in a basement. And I'll start off with this. I paid $1 for him. And I believe he's like elect like he goes on top of electrical pole. And I just think he's so cute maybe to set like with some books stacked. And then a book laying down and maybe him sitting on top. I don't know. 50 cents for this really pretty basket. Now it's super tiny. As you know, I got that baker's rack, I guess you would say in Southern California that I plan to put a bunch of baskets on. So I thought he would go so well on top of that or in that rack. My sister has one that is a different color. This mine is more dark, darker, and he's pretty big. Oops, my hat. <laughs> um, kind of hard to get him in frame. There we go. Can you guys kind of see it right there? Now, I love the color on him. He's super sturdy. So there was another basket inside with a really kind of ugly looking fake tree. And so I don't want to be dishonest, but I took the 
tree out with the basket, the little one, set it to the side, and then took this basket to the front, and I asked if I could purchase this separately because the tree was still in a basket. And the lady said I could purchase it separately. So I got this huge, beautiful, I believe this is a vintage basket for $3. And I think I spent $6 at, um, or $7 at um, this thrift store. So my total cost was about $14 to $15 for all of this, which is, I think is a really good deal. And I love everything. Everything is going in my living room except for these. These are going to my sister-in-law for her birthday. And my sister-in-law is really sweet. And I am blessed to have um, sisters that I am like, we're best friends. And then family on my husband's side that I am... Um, I'm blessed to have them in my life as well. They're super sweet and just super easy to get along with. And I feel um, super blessed. This is my haul and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.